Hey everyone, how's it going? Huh. I am very happy to be able to present to you a Dreamcast game, finally. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. And I was watching a, another Let's Play a little while ago. Uh, Game Hoarders Dead Space Let's Play. If you haven't checked out his channel, fucking check it out. And, you know, the thing about the Necromorphs in Dead Space always makes me want to play Blue Stinger. And I'd also like to thank the guy that uh, directed me to this, uh, to this emulator. I don't feel like butchering your name, but you know who you are. Sent, a, th sent you a thank you message. So, now, it's playable, there are some, mm, there, there's a couple minor graphical issues that I've seen, nothing, uh, nothing too bad, but, anyway, let's play Blue Stinger. I haven't played this game in years. My actual Dreamcast still does work, I just don't have a way to record it. <laughs> so. There goes the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. This thing's also kind of awesome because it has a little window here. You remember the VMUs that you used to record your save files? Yeah. With little screens on them. <laughs> Get a little VMU screen. 2000 AD. A great earthquake rocks the Yucatan Peninsula, causing an area of land 400 kilometers in diameter to sink into the ocean, leaving behind only a small island at the exact center of the sunken area. Researchers are astonished to find that the area of land lost to the earthquake is exactly the same size as the meteor which caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This connection to a long-forgotten past gives the new island its name. Dinosaur Island. There's the island. Time lapse, I think. No, static. Now there's some minor sound issues during the cutscene, like with Parasite Eve 2, but nothing too bad. 2018, present day. The Mayans were fucking wrong. Twenty eighteen, there's some kind of thing in the center of the island. Just off the shore. Just off the shore, we're having CGI glitches. Oh well. Small price to pay to be able to record this. Hey Tim. What's up, Elliot? Why do you think Chimeratech built such a huge research lab on such a tiny island? Sometimes I don't understand what a big wigs are. I'm just a crew member of the supply ship. Heck, I don't even get permission to enter the residential district on the island. I know what I know about that. It's not mine. I rented it from the Kimura Tech Group. Captain Dobbs has a very good connections with them. He talked to them, I got the ship. With one condition. We have to decorate the boat before I return it to them. We? Decorate the boat? The Kimura Tech Group wants to have a Christmas party on this ship. I thought I told you. 
I never heard about that. It's not that hard. We can finish by tomorrow morning. Come on, I don't want to work. This is my first vacation I got in two years. First vacation I got in two years. Incoming. Pound. Hey, it's a self-correcting meteor. That figure you're making a part of the decoration? You're already preparing for the party? What is that? A Nephrim. It's a character from the Bottled Angel series. An angel of good luck. It's a limited edition. You hang this on at the ship's bow for protection. Pretty neat, huh? First vacation in two years. Where to? The island, idiot. Got it. Made it, made it, made it. I'll leave you alone. Special sea rescue the sea set at the third over. Mayday, mayday. This is Elliot Barad, special sea rescue C730 over. Come in. Over. This is Oh crap. Well, something projects a bubble shield. Someone fucked up at meteorite. Yeah, we're, we're just going to take care of this is why you can't leave right off the bat. <laughs> Apparently, the shield didn't penetrate into the boat. And Tim seems to be stuck in stasis, being caught in the barrier like that. Flare gun. Tim! I can't. Oh, that's not good. Okay, who's been dabbling into the bioweapons? So, meteor crashes. Makes bubble shield. Little blue light comes out and turns into a bottled angel. And our hero is sinking to the bottom of the fucking ocean. Yet he miraculously shows up on the pier. Minor graphical glitch. Don't worry. And here's the VMU picture when you're controlling Elliot. Oh, the Dreamcast was awesome. Too bad it died. Oh, crap. The mind rape meteor. Oh shit. It's Godzilla! Uh, the 
Okay, creepy little alien thing. Anyway, we are Elliot. Elliot is an Easter member. We have no money. We're in the Bay Area. That's pretty much the only area we have is the bridge here. Items, we have no food. You use food to restore your health. Uh, we have a ATM card. Easter salaries are paid on the 25th of each month. It's currently Christmas Eve. So we get paid tomorrow. Weapon-wise, we have no long-range weapons. Short-range... Elliot's hand-to-hand -hand combat skills were acquired by extensive training in both boxing and martial arts. Change... Can't change characters. And we're broke as fuck. Now, Elliot is an Easter member. It's pretty much some kind of, like, special sea rescue something or other. Uh, they got weapon skills and whatnot. So I, I guess there's some yeah. like, I forgot, some kind of like Navy SEAL bastards. Yeah. Right yeah. now we can combo. Oh. Okay. This is Elliot Balad, Easter Troop C730, over. This is Janine. Live Jean, from KIS. Kiss. Dinosaur Island Security Office. Currently, the island is under an emergency situation. Do you read? Got cut off. D7 equipped rescue units. Okay. Now, Elliot can equip both a short range and long range weapon, which, well. Ooh. It's a pirate! He's got a bandana and everything. Hey, pirate, get over here. Where'd he go? He must use his pirate powers to disappear into the water. Ooh. Yeah. Beer. That's the main graphical glitch we're going to have. Normally, it shows the item that you pick up. Well, it won't do that. Like I said, it, it, small glitches. Small hassy. Small size, world famous energy drink will restore a very small amount of energy. Bullshit, world famous energy drink, my ass, it's beer. <laughs> it can say world famous energy drink all it wants, I say it's a fucking beer. I mean, come on, you drink beer, you eat burgers, you eat hot dogs to restore your health. Fuck it. Fuck the energy drink. I repeat. I need an Easter unit now. Elliot Ballad, do you hear me? Barely. This is Elliot Ballad. Uh... We request D7 equipped rescue unit now. The location is... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm on vacation. I'm totally unarmed. So... So? I need help, too. Oh, great. Tell me your location, Elliot. All I can tell you is that I'm by a pier. Okay, Elliot. First, find an ID card. I'm sure there are a number of corpses around. You should be able to find one of them with an ID card. Oh! What happened? Uh, corpses? Did you say there are a number of corpses around? Where? Never. So, shit went down, yo. There's dead bodies all over the fucking joint. Yeah. This guy's got a CL1 gate key. He had a little sparkle next to him. Alright, now the other graphical anomalies I've detected is that. Sometimes the ground likes to quiver when you look at it funny. Now, I have tinkered with the, uh, with the settings and I've gotten it cleaned up. I got the shadows to show up. I uh, got the mus the in-game music, not the cutscene music, to be a little smoother. What the hell is that? Break your fucking arm off? Holy shit! It's a fucking necromorph! Wait a second! Bitch! 
Yeah, fuck you. No, his money! His fucking money fell into the water! Damn you! Yeah, you see why I watch freaking I play Dead Space or watch Dead Space and I want to play Blue Stinger now? <laughs> A lot of the enemies in this are very similar to the Necromorphs. Or how, vice versa, however you want to put it. Now, you can run back in here and Dicolifagus will respawn. Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah. Break that. Break those arms. Now, the monsters in this game, you do not have to dismember them. Uh, however, breaking, shooting, or otherwise breaking their uh, slashy bits off does prevent them from hitting you with them. So, if you break a... Uh, if you actually break one of their arms off, you will take less damage if you get hit. If you break both of their arms off, they can't hit you. They will sit there and just flail their bloody stumps at you, and you can just stand there and laugh at them. We got saved by a pirate. Hey, pirate. That was close. Thanks for helping me. My name is Elliot G. Ballad. Where's Tim? Huh? Well, who are you? Dogs. I'm a captain of the SS Deanna. If you're Elliot, you must be with Tim. Tim is... Tim is what? Dead? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know? Is that Easter's answer? You know, Tim once told me he had a high-level Easter member as a friend. Where are you going? To the island. I am still a rescuer. There are people there who need help. <laughs> what a joke. Obviously, you're going to need good help, like me. I can't let a wimp like you go alone. <laughs> Whatever. So, we now have dogs. We come in, we can... Dogs Bower. Bower. Currently equipped with a bow gun. Elliot G. Blood. But yeah. Dogs is, uh... Okay. So you can see, Dogs actually has a ranged weapon. Ooh. He also laughs like a madman whenever he picks up items. Dogs is stronger than Elliot's. Oh, and Dogs is VMU. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs is VMU picture. Uh, he can push things slightly faster than Elliot can. And no matter who you're playing as, they're going to make some repeated sound. Now we have the CO2 gate key, so... Technically, we could just move on. I don't want to climb up here, though. Find a handgun magazine and a CO2 room key. Here, we can get a visitor ID and handgun for Elliot. Now, these things are the map terminals. Yay, download complete. This is a save point. I'm going to save over my test save. Anyway, we don't want to use dogs right now since uh, dogs can only use one weapon at a time and he does not have a melee weapon at this point. He does, however, have a bow gun. Super Bow Manta Ray. Normally used for big game hunting, this semi-automatic weapon uses magazines holding up to eight arrows. The bow gun and it comes with six or off the bat because he shot the monster in the butt twice. So, 
Yeah. Uh, the bow gun is twice as powerful as the handgun. So, here's the handgun. KSA Gavel Mark III semi-automatic handgun can hold up 14 plus one rounds and double column magazine of uh, 455 cal or 455 millimeter cap bullets. It can also be used underwater. Elliot's the only will equip this. One thing to note: you cannot reload. You're stuck with whatever's in the magazine until it's empty. And then you reload the gun. So, keep that in mind. Now, Elliot's handgun holds 15 bullets. Dogs' bow gun holds 8 arrows. The arrows are literally pretty much worth 2 handgun bullets. So, technically, uh, the damage potential of a clip of bow gun, uh, a bow gun magazine is one handgun bullet greater than... I'm going to get it right here. Oh, you bastard. Ah, bastard, give me your money. Yeah. It's a bow gun arrows. And you can hold nine spare magazines for all of your ranged weapons. Oh, bitch coming out of the walls. Hi, creepy. Ah, trippy cutscene again. Slime, fish, crab, slime, thing. Duh. And Sleepy Godzilla. Nephilim. What the hell is that? How do you know its name? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, so... Of what I do remember... Uh... Yeah. Okay, minor glitches... The game is still playable. <laughs> Isaac Clark may be a badass, but how often how often does he go completely unarmed against things? As an effective option, I should say. Lab Town. Don't have the card to open this door. It's locked. Now, there are points I will go out of my way to grind money. Uh, you buy a, a lot of your weapons are... Oh, shit. It's Jaws! Mutant Jaws. Somebody knows how to fucking pwn. This is Janine, over. <laughs> you're great. If you're an ESER member, you'll definitely be ranked A+. Uh, you're flattering me, but you won't get anywhere that way. You can get in here by taking the slope shuttle in front of you. If the shuttle is moving, that is. And forget it if you don't have an ID card. You tough girl. I like it, Janine. Who the hell is Janine? My kind of girl, so stay away from her. <laughs> Alright, anyway, like I was saying, background-wise, uh, what I remember about Dogs is uh, he was he was actually on the original 
team that explored Dinosaur Island after the earthquake and everything around it sunk. And now he's pretty much a captain of a supply vessel. He's got... He's got tremendous upper body strength, even though he does have the, uh... Whoa! Five. Okay, they take five... Five bullets each. Let's be economical about this shit. Takes five handgun bullets, or... Alright. If I remember correctly, the tentacles don't respawn, so... And they're not something that you want to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ah! Also, I do not have save states, so <laughs> hope I don't die. <laughs> just, just hope I don't die. Yes. But at least I'm able to save my game. Now this, our first chance at vending, get a box of box mega shotgun shells, mega handgun magazines, fifty bucks. 60 bucks for MAGA arrows. 120 for some shoddy shells. This vending machine, we have a hot dog, which restores an ass load of health. A hamburger, which I think, let's see, yeah. Hamburgers pretty much restore, I think they restore all your health. That or they restore the most out of just basic healing items and a big beer and then this vending machine what do we got here we got little beer big beer and sandwiches uh I'll buy some beer in fact, I need a beer. Be careful. You have to actually consume the item in order to get your health back. If you get fucked before then, the door's locked. If you get hit before your health gets restored, you drop the food, you lose the item, and, well, you get hurt. So be careful. Emergency alert. Shuttle section should be stationed. Emergency alert. Shuttle section should be stationed. Uh-oh. Negative pressure on the shuttle holder system has increased 20%. The security limitation is exceeded on shuttle system. Security brake has been activated. Shutter outer seal has been broken. Once shuttle reaches security limitation stage, shuttle may descend rapidly. That's not good. Hey, somebody is on board. He's locked up in the shuttle. Activate the emergency stop control. Safety brake will be destroyed in 130 seconds. A shaft entrance lock has been deactivated. Activate the emergency stop control. Safety brake will be destroyed in 125 seconds. A shaft entrance lock has been deactivated. Activate the emergency stop control. Safety brake will be destroyed in 120 seconds. A shaft entrance lock has been deactivated. Shaft entrance lock destroyed? The shuttle's gonna fall! So, we got two minutes. This, this is an optional mission. There's a few of these. I'm going to A shaft. If you're in the shuttle when it gets destroyed, when it falls, you, or if you're in the, uh, 
If you're in, in this area when the shuttle falls, you will die. I'm not necessarily worried about, uh... Bigger tentacle. Take seven bullets. Oh, cool. The time doesn't pass. I forgot. Uh, that's four. Now these little side missions like this, if you complete them, you end up getting more stuff. If you don't complete them, well, it inconveniences you. I think I gotta try to get in there. I forgot where I have to... Oh, here we are. Activate the emergency stop control. The emergency stop control will be activated. There's a door the open into the stop cage. Emergency control program has processed falsely. Emergency stop control program will shut down. Please notify the system supervisor. What? Computer rescuing program will be activated. It will override the shuttle control program. All security circuits have shut down. All control circuits have shut down. All activation circuits have shut down. Emergency stop system activated. Insert member Elliot G. Balad is identified. The command to override has been admitted. Emergency stop system activated. Yeah, super rescuer. The shuttle has completely stopped. Please secure the passengers out. So, yeah. Yeah, you come around here, this is open. I didn't... The camera... You can get screwed by the camera. Now here we got a different uh, necro guy in a different colored shirt. Uppercuts usually enough to stun them. These ones drop a little more, a little more money. They're a little tougher though. You notice those birds over there? Well, they take about two handgun bullets each. Oh, maybe they don't. They take more than two handgun bullets. Maybe they take three. But we're running low on handgun bullets, so we're gonna shoot them with a bow gun. Uh, you drop back here, you'll find a, a metal bat and a big beer. Large beer. Ha <laughs> ha, long can. Oh, Elliot. An aluminum baseball bat. Yeah. Okay. So, we got the first... Short range. Oh wait, I'm changing characters. Yes. First short range character. Er, bleh, actual short range weapon. That's the full combo. Do combos just literally by mashing the attack, the short range attack button. Uh, now let's go in here and see who. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Thank you. What's happening on the island? A meteor must have hit the island. Since then, everything turned upside down. And what were those monsters? I don't know. I haven't a clue. We'll be pressing on. You should stay here. The shuttle's safe now. Got it. 
Now, for rescuing this guy, not only are the shuttles, uh, the shuttles can be reactivated later, so you can just take the shuttle straight down to the next area. You also get the napalm gun for free, and very early. It's a weapon for Elliot, long range. And BL-80 Hellfire, semi-automatic short-range napalm launcher uses 15-pound D2 napalm rockets. It holds up to four rounds. So we get a shoulder-mounted napalm launcher with four shots. Quite early. Saves us some money. Got a transport going on. Now with the baseball bat, you want to try to set these guys off. You don't necessarily want to stick around because the combos are the combos a bit slow, and you can get caught off guard on that on the big swing. So try to stick by you know stick to their side and behind them, and just kind of just kind of tap them. Probably should have bought some ammo, but I'm not too worried about it. That door's locked. Uh, I can see that eh, the gra the graphics on the walls are a bit annoying, but eh, we'll it? live. Elliot, what's the code? My sweetheart. Smart ass. <laughs> so, this is Janine. Sniper bitch extraordinaire. I knew it. She's perfect. She's my kind of girl. I... Just said that out loud, didn't I? Oh. won't work. You can't hit her. What is that thing? I'm going to mind fuck you again. She's harmless. So far. I'm Elliot Balan. Thanks for helping me. You know, at this point, nothing surprises me anymore. My name's Janine King. Nice to meet you, Elliot. Janine King. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Elliot. Let me introduce Janine King, a security guard here. Her skill is A+. And this hairy guy is... His name is Dogs Bauer. He's a captain of the SS Cargo, Deanna. What? You, you guys know each other? No, I don't know her. You know, you shouldn't run up your bill at Rat's Place. Your name is on their blacklist. <laughs> You're pretty famous. God damn, son of a bitch. <laughs> Janine, what's going on here? I mean, I don't think one meteor created that big dome and produced a bunch of monsters. Mm, I have no clue either. After that shocking sound, all the lights on the island went off. When I was trying to turn on the light, the monster suddenly attacked me. Why don't you ask her? Mm, Nephilim thing. Huh. Well, that's all well and good. Well, first thing we want to do is we want to head over here to the left. This will take us to the uh, window that she shot out of. And here yeah. is a Karate t-shirt. Karate t-shirt is the first melee weapon 
for dogs. Dogs loves to wear this t-shirt because it makes him feel like a karate master. <laughs> so, now dogs has karate man. Using the short range... If you use Elliot's short range button, he'll block. If you use the normal long range button... He just... Does random... Karate moves. Now the shops in this room, we once again have beer, sandwiches, and wait. Ah, here we are. The green one has the. I'll buy a couple handgun clips and a couple extra arrow magazines. Because we are going to be hurting for frickin' stuff. Gotcha. Ah, 30 minutes, 7 seconds. Eh. Alright, I'm going to temporarily cut off the recording and restart a new clip. Be right back.